Sounds like a lifter. So I'm not done. I can't put the hood on. Can't do much else until I figure that out. Didn't want to end the fifth episode this way. I was planning to put the hood on and take everybody for a drive, but with this lifter noise, there's going to be an episode six. Just thank everybody for their comments and trying to figure out what this lifter noise is. So let's just jump in and see if we can figure this thing out. I'm going to start with this side just because it's easier to reach. The driver's side, I'm going to have to pull the power steering pump out of the way so, and all the brackets so that I can get that off of there. But this side shouldn't be too tough. I'm going to start by just checking the lifters. myself a little chart to put X's where I think I've got bad lifters check marks where they're good so down the driver's side one two three four five appear to be bad and over on the driver's side I've really just got the one that's bad over there on number two so now the question is, do I just order a full set of lifters since so many of these things are bad? I'm kind of wondering about the rest of them, how much life they've got. They all came out of the same engine. Um, or do I cheap out and just buy myself six of these? I need six or 16. I don't know. I got all the lifters out of the passenger side. I'm going to show you what I found. I'm just going to take a push. That one moves a little bit. That one isn't moving at all. Solid, 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 solid. It's moving all over and solid. So on this side, my initial testing just came up with on the number two cylinder, I think this is intake, but um, just this one. But on further inspection, looks like on number eight, we're not good either. But the rest of these look like they're okay. So I'll pull out the other side and do the same check on them and see how they turn out. Let's get the lifters here out of the driver's side. I pulled the whole rocker shaft just to make it easier to get at these things. I'm going to put a little light down there so you can see the lifter down inside there. I just need to reach in and grab it. So I've got a tool here that's designed just for that. 
it basically, I'll show you when I pull this thing out, but you reach in there, you get it right inside that lifter, squeeze and it pushes these little, these little feet apart and that grabs it. So let's get the first one. Okay, got it. And there it is. Out it comes. I'll just drop it in here. So this just goes inside and grabs it. So I'm just going to grab the other seven now, get those done on this side. I'm going to remove this rocker shaft just because it's a lot easier to get this thing aligned with it out of the way. So to put these in, I'll be using this lifter puller installer. I already broke it. I guess I read that on most of the reviews that these things are are kind of cheap, but they do the job. But I already pulled this little T-handle off, so I just tack welded it back on. It's good to go. So all I need to do is just put a little assembly lube on these things and drop them in. So in addition to using that lifter installer, I also need a flashlight so that I can get this thing lined up. That's probably the hardest part about putting these back in this way through the push rod holes is it's a, it's a long way down. You gotta kinda eyeball it and see if you're close because the tolerances are really tight on these things. So you gotta hit it dead on just to get it to land. Lifters are in. They've definitely helped. I ran it for a couple of trips. There, you hear that? Occasionally, I hear one rap, and it's mainly on kind of this idle. When it's out running, it's good. I've got good oil pressure, so I think I think I'm just going to run it for now and see how it goes. But it's it's running good. It's driving good. I 
Let's take a ride. It's up and running. This is the old engine that came out. This one, I power washed it. I'm going to tuck it away in the corner and just kind of keep it around for spare parts for now and decide later if there's anything else I want to do with that. But this one is done. It's running good. I might tweak the carb a little bit, play with the timing. But I think for now, I'm just going to drive it. It's June 1st. It's ready for summer. So if you want to see all the videos leading up to this one, I actually started this project last winter. There are five other videos in the series that lead up to this. So go check them out. Otherwise, thanks for coming along for the ride. And we'll see you again soon.